Hello friends, Eid Mubarak to all my lovely friends out there, my family, all my friends, all the Muslim ummas out there. A really, really happy Eid Mubarak to all of them. May God bring this happiness to this Eid to all of you guys out there. Thank you so much and don't forget to watch my video for Eid. I'm making very special lunch for Eid and it's coming due soon. So we'll see you later. Eid Mubarak guys. So we start our day by going to their prayers and it was a lot of fun. A lot of people enjoyed that. Then I create my nice recipe, which is a secret recipe from Lan Shanks. I will definitely share with you guys today as a nice eat surprise. You will love it. And then my sister-in-law brings me a nice pasta of beef. Pasta was very delicious. And thank you so much for her bringing that. Last is the great dessert for sheet korma for special eat events. So let's go enjoy. First we go to the mosque for the prayers. So let's go. So this is a mosque I shared with you guys from the previous Eid. That this is one of the biggest mosques here in Northern Virginia. Darul Noor have a lot of capacity for uh, people to cover here for the prayers. We it, it went to the third prayer because there's a lot of people in the first and second prayer. And third prayer as you can see as well. So the fourth prayer is about to happen. People parking far away. The only inconvenient part of this, uh, this mosque is that there's a lot of space available for parking. But they still need to have more space available because people have to park far away from mosques and walk or park in a community to come to this area for their prayer um, as you see there's the people waiting in a line as women's prayers inside the mosque and the man's prayer outside in a tent area but it's beautiful weather i'm glad it's not raining but it's beautiful nice weather outside for the prayer so let's go home start our magic recipe so this is my recipe i'm going to be making a lamb shanks for you this is a lot of people asking me for recipe for that but i never shared it but you know what as my friends you guys i'm going to share that with you so these are the lamb shanks i purchased like a whole uh, lamb shank half of it able to cut it this way you can easily find them in any of the halal grocery stores right along with that i have rosemary here the fresh rosemary leaves you're going to be utilizing that garlic we need one bunch i already made it one um open cut it for you then we need chilies to make a little spicy sauce as you know we eat spice food so we're going to make a little bit of that i have black pepper we're going to use them crush also organo a little bit just for the taste as well moving on we're going to need that our olive oil just a little bit and also the nest is not the salt so we're going to go ahead and start continue with our recipe let's go ahead we're going to crush the garlic right in the bowl here i am going to go ahead and crush this fresh garlic because the fresh garlic smell is great along with that i have a pot here which i have heated up already um it's already heat up here we're going to use a very little bit of oil in this one we're going to fry the our lamb shanks just for a little bit to change the color of it so let's go once it's warm we're going to go ahead and add about one tablespoon of olive oil uh, right there so as is warming up we're gonna go ahead and put our lamb shanks inside the um, our pot just for it changes the color so it's not reddish all around it because we're gonna flip on both sides to make sure it's nice the changes color here and then why is going to change these colors here and we wanted to go ahead and cover this up so it's when it's covered it's heat it's able to change the color faster so this is the um garlic crusher i purchased that from ikea it's very nice convenient you can find them in kitchen aisles i'm going to go ahead and crush my first garlic here and as you see on this side that lamb shanks already changing the colors i mean wanted to be have it cooked with its own taste and fragrance but i just want to add a little bit of oil so it helps not to stick to the pan and um, you keep flipping it to make sure it doesn't you know stick too much to the um, pot and just keep changing the colors so why is doing this let's go ahead and crush our garlics on the other side so we have everything ready to go as our step comes and change so i already crushed this as you see rosemary i took out the leaves as well i have one spoon here which i'm going to be using that for the um, measurements for our lamb shanks here so let's go ahead and move garlic is ready rosemary is ready let's go ahead and put the rosemary inside that crushed garlic and this is all in then let's put everything inside so we have one big bunch of rosemary depends how much you're using is i use about 75 percent of the bunch of the uh, rosemary fresh rosemary so it's in there then we're going to use a one um about 
one tablespoon of the red chilies so let's go ahead and add about yeah just a little bit of it depends how much you taste it depends on your taste i like it a little spicy so we're going to add that then we're going to use a um, oregano about one tablespoon of oregano then we're going to go ahead and do the crushed black peppers and the salt we're just going to use about two or three tablespoons of olive oil this is it guys this is the only ingredients you're going to need for this best surprise recipe let's go ahead quickly mix everything up so we go ahead and mix as you see it's all mixed together and i have half of the lamb shanks already fried i have a plastic glove on because i don't want this smell to be in my hands for when i'm marinating it so i'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of size of my marination i'm going to go ahead and melt put all around it to the lamb shanks right here so as you see right there i'm going to go ahead and marinate it completely so it's completely marinated so all the grades aroma and recipe ingredients will be all over on the lamb shanks now guys this is what i did a night before in chandra because you want them to be marinated overnight for a best taste and marination this is not something i did on eat day i did this marination on night before so it's fully marinated i will cover this up let it sit here overnight and i'll bake it on eat day now when we cook this it takes about three and a half to four hours to cook so i'm baking this on a about 450 um, Fahrenheit for oven it's been baking I put it on slow oven here then I went to mosque for prayer then I came home and it's almost done so there we go I'm gonna go ahead and start dishing out my favorite dish here so all my friends and relatives who've been asking for this recipe this is for you guys especially on eat day I love and hope you enjoy it so let's go dish it out so guys, I made my family dish for Eid al-Adha. This is a lamb shanks. If you see, they came out so good and yummy and I cannot wait to eat it. So I'm, gl I'm glad you will like this recipe as well. If you have any questions, direct message me and I hope you will like the video. Take care guys. Love you. Bye-bye. Eid Mubarak.